Sisters and Brothers of America. It filled my heart with joy unspeakable to rise in response to the warm and cordial welcome that you have given to us. I thank you all in the name of the oldest order of monks in the world. I thank you all in the name of the mother of religions. I thank you all in the name of millions and millions of Hindu people of all classes and sects. My thanks also to some of the speakers on this platform whom referring to delegates from Orient have told you that these men from the far off nations may well claim the honor of bearing the different lands the idea of toleration. I am proud to belong to a religion that has taught the world the idea of tolerance and universal acceptance. We not only believe in tolerance, we accept that all religions are true. I am proud to belong to a nation that has sheltered the persecuted and refugees of all the religions and all the nations on the earth. I am proud to inform you that we have among us the remnants of the Israelis that came to southern India at the time when their holy temple was shattered into pieces by the Roman colony. I will quote to you, brethren, a few lines from a hymn which I remember to have repeated from my earliest boyhood and which is repeated by millions of human beings. As different streams having different sources in different places, but all mingle there into the same sea. So, O oh Lord, different paths which men take through different tendencies, various though they appear, crooked or straight, all lead to you. The present convention, which is one of the most august assemblies ever held, is in itself a vindication, a declaration to the world of the most wonderful doctrine preached in Gita. It says, Whosoever comes to me, through whatsoever form, I reach him. All men are struggling through paths which in end leads to me. Sectarianism, bigotry, and its horrible descendant, fanaticism, has long possessed this beautiful earth. They have filled the earth with violence, drenched it often and often with human blood, destroyed civilization and sent whole nation to despair. Had it not been for these horrible demons, human society would be far more advanced than it is right now. But their time is come. And I fervently hope that the bell that tolled this morning in the honor of this convention may be the death knell of all the fanaticism, of all the persecution, with the sword or with the pen. And all the uncharitable feelings between person wending their way to the same good. बहुत सुंदर धन्यवाद नरेंद्र जी अब विचारों के बाद